to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. Oh my god, I'm so blooming excited for this video. I am so excited that yes, we have got the hot drinks. My lovelies, the hot drinks are at the ready. This is actually a Home Sense or TK Maxx find from last year. Who remembers these? I know this is more Halloween in October, but I like to see my coffee. So I think my lovely pumpkin spice ones are best going to believe for being in the morning routines. But this is piping hot at the moment, so I need to let it rest. However, you would have seen by the title and you would have seen by the thumbnail, we have one huge home sense bag. Now, don't come at me and be like, one bag's not huge. It is huge, okay, because I've got it jam-packed, filled with plenty of goodies. I physically, <laughs> bearing in mind, my lovelies, for Home Sense and TK Maxx, if you know me, I do a haul in September each for them and also in October. There's only a small little place that me and Mama G live in, and I physically can't put much more in here. So some of the bits may have to go back, who knows, um, I hope I don't fall in love with them all. I mean, I did fall in love with them because that's why they went in my trolley, but just not going to talk about that. So my love is, whether you're still on your iced coffees, I've gone for a hot coffee, get whichever drink of choice, make sure you're comfy, make sure you're cosy, and let's get in with our autumnal, not Halloween, autumnal home sense haul. I'm so excited. Right, I don't actually quite know what to start with because... It is jam-packed with a lot of bits and bobs. What are we going to start with? Let's have a look. Oh, Lord. Right. In these hauls, so I'm talking HomeSense, TK Maxx, um, the range, anything like that. Please do not shout at me if I buy candles or mugs or anything gonk-related, okay? Because I just can't help myself. Um... <laughs> And we are kicking off this autumnal haul. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Oh my God, you know when you feel like you've got a hair, is this luck? Oh, my lovelies. I do apologise this interruption in our autumnal video. This is because clearly someone's trying to tell me something. We are kicking it off with a mug. And not just any mug, okay? I saw this and I was like, I need this. I need this in my life. This gave me like really big etsy vibes like it just looks very rusty and this was 4.99 which i think for the size of it it is not bad at all and my lovelies look so first of all can you see the size of it it's practically the size of my head that would be one huge pumpkin spice latte cup of tea hot chocolate that you could ever imagine but just look it's got loads and loads of different types of pumpkins and squashes and leaves on there and i blooming fell in love you know what actually would be nice in this oh my gosh shannon lee you've just thought of it pumpkin soup because that's probably you're going to get the same contents in that as you would a bowl oh my god this is so multi-purpose <sighs> still feel like i've got something on my face i do apologize if i keep <sighs> in a way you know there's never a video without some type of drama for me but yeah i just love this blooming love this i did want to get more like i'm not gonna lie the fact that i have only got one mug in this haul or have i got two i can't remember maybe it was tk maxx i got two i can't remember i think i picked up more than one in one of the shops i just don't remember which um this it's just autumnal in a cup in it you need a cup that you can have a cup of tea and also a cup of soup in. And this is perfectly. And I just, as I say, I just got really big Etsy vibes for it. I thought it looks very rustic. Something that you're going to obviously keep forever. I mean, I say keep forever. I will be keeping everything forever. But I just need to have somewhere with incredible storage. And continuing storage. When I move out, don't I? Because uh, this is this is getting a little bit... Uh, how can we put it? Getting a little bit concerning sometimes, isn't it, my lovelies? Right. We'll go with this. So you all know I love a pumpkin, don't I? And I went through my collection and I'd also re-watched my two previous years worth of hauls to try not and uh, buy duplicates. And I realised I only had one 
material fluffy pumpkin all of my other pumpkins are like ceramic and i've only got one which is a giant white fluffy one if you remember from last year so i thought you know what i want a material one so i saw this one this was 9.99 and wow look is this just not screaming shannon i mean if it was baby pink then yes i would have absolutely screamed shannon but i think like crushed gray velvet i like the little um Almost like faux brown, faux brown, a light brown, Shannon Lee. A light brown velvet stalk. And then as I say, it's just ribbed, in it? Like a pumpkin. $9.99. It's a good size as well. It's not like a little flimsy one. It's a good one. You could probably, oh Lord, just dropping it. You could probably have this as a doorstop as well. Because it's got some weight behind it. But yeah, I saw it and I was just like, oh Lord. And they were some of the first things I picked up. So you know, like when you walk in and you're like, yeah, I'll just have a browse first. Well, I couldn't browse because I walked in and I was like, oh my God, I need to get this now. Because a lot of the stuff in my um, Home Sense and TK Maxx this year, there wasn't a lot of. Like normally you would have like rows and rows of candles and they'd like pretty much be the same. Rows and rows of pumpkins and that. The ones in my store were pretty much like just one-offs. Like I don't think I even found two duplicate candles. So I don't know what was going on. They had a lot of stock, but not a lot of duplicates. So I was just like, I'm not even having a browse first. I need to put them straight in the trolley. Which is what I went and done. Oh, that's quite nice. I haven't had an almond flat white in a while. Thank you, Mr. Nespresso. Right, another thing that I said don't shout at me for. I just thought this was really unique. This was $9.99. First of all, it was pink. Um, I don't hold a pink gonk. All of my gonks as well are material. So when I saw a pink like ceramic gonk ornament, that just blooming screamed all term. You best believe that got chucked in. Well, not chucked in. I didn't want to break it. But oh my God, guys. 9.99 so it's got the little pink sunflowers and we all know i love a good sunflower and he's just sitting on this giant like knitted effect basket i mean i just i just couldn't how could i have walked past this and not put it in my trolley the answer is no i couldn't have done that to you you're just too goddamn cute so now the trouble is i have to find places to put all of the new bits because if you saw the home tour we've we have got a bit of space not a lot but i will say we've got a little bit of space which i'm not too sure how because last year if i remember correctly it seemed a lot more like jam-packed however this year it's not so i'm i mean don't get me wrong i'm glad at that because it means actually the stuff that i buy it's not going to look surplus but yeah i'm just thinking like even my room right now I've got the big Crosley unit and I didn't have that last year. So all of my whole top was decorated, if you remember. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, but it just looks bare. Even though I've got the big Crosley unit, it looks bare. So, I mean, uh, I'm not complaining that I've got more gonks. So, right, I'm not complaining at all, my lovelies. Let's have a look. What have we got in here? Feels like you're um, Christmas again because everything's wrapped up. Oh, my God. You don't need to walk to HomeSense or TK Maxx because they do these in TK Maxx as well. You need to run, okay? Run, run, run. If you like your cocktails, my lovelies, or you know someone that loves their cocktails, these are the perfect gifts. That's $7.99 by the brand Cocktail Infusion Mixer New York. Pina Colada flavoured cocktail mixer, just add white rum. It is basically everything you need for a cocktail. My ice cream man's here. We're in September now, Mr. Ice Cream Man. Unless you're serving me, like, toffee pecan pie, I'm not in the mood for a lemon ice. So, this has, what does it actually have in it? Dried sugar, coconuts, pineapple, bananas, and artificial flavour colouring. White rum sold separately, and it makes 300, oh no, 750 ml. I think this is blooming fantastic. So you see that in there, my lovelies. It's got all of your sugar, your bananas, everything like that. You get your strainer, which I think is fab, so that when you pour out your homemade uh, pina colada, you're not going to get any of the bits in it. I wonder how long you have to leave it for. Or what's it say? How to prepare. Fill the bottle with a suggested spirit. 
it's a white rum. Let it infuse for a minimum of three to five hours. Strain a generous shot of infused mix into a chilled glass and then top up with your preferred beverage, coconut milk. Oh my God, we're going all out. We're making proper pina coladas, my lovelies. For a thicker consistency, blend ice, coconut milk and a generous shot of the infused mix into a blender. Best consumed within two weeks of infusion. You ain't got to tell me it's two weeks to drink a bottle of pina colada. That could be gone in one weekend. And refrigerate after adding alcohol. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So best believe tomorrow when me and mum pop down to Tesco. Oh, actually, no, I've got, I haven't got plain rum though. All of my rum's flavoured. Couldn't do that. I need a plain rum. Just add white rum. Probably pick up a Bacardi or something. That seven ninety nine, and they had so many flavors. Um, they had daiquiri, porn star martinis, margaritas, and a tequila base drink, which I was a bit like, oh, I love a shot of tequila. I don't know if I love it as much to have like a full drink of it, but yeah, that. As I say, with Home Sense and TK Maxx, it's not just like homeware bits for you. They're really good for like gifts and bits and bobs. Um, their food aisle. Now, I'm slightly sad because this time the food I was slacking. We all know I love to pick up some pastas, like the spooky shape pasta. However, I have seen that uh, Sainsbury's are doing spooky shape pasta. Last year, we got it from Lakeland. This year, I'm going to try and head out to Sainsbury's and pick it up. And yeah, the homeware, the gifts, the whole selection. I just love these shops. When I get my own place, whenever that may be, oh Lord. <sighs> You know, like the rails with all the racks of um, throws on. I'm going to need that somewhere. I'm going to need a wardrobe for my throws and cushions. Because I'm just going to want to decorate every month. I said to mum the other day, I think I'm going to keep my home very plain. She said, what, pure white? I was like, no, 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 not pure white. Maybe like a really pale grey or like a off beige magnolia. I'm not too sure. But I just want to keep it plainish. Nothing like really garish because I'll probably be decorating most of the time. And it will probably only be plain walls for a couple of months out of the whole year. So I don't want to have like, I don't know, bright pink and silver walls like I have now. Which, don't get me wrong, blooming fabulous, I love it. But sometimes it might clash with me decor, you know? But anyway, I'm, I'm talking way in advance because that's not going to happen for many a many a moon. Well, hopefully next year, probably not likely because I'm going through my savings like that, booking my travels. So, yeah, maybe moving out is not on the agenda. Maybe I'll still be sitting here this time next year. And if I am, we'll rewind to this year and be like, look, Sham, look what you told yourself. Like, look what you told yourself about not buying any more big candles. So this is the first of a few. Now, I think the candles have gone up slightly in price. These are the DW Home, which, if you know me, DW Home and Sand and Fog are my go-to candles throughout Home Sense and TK Maxx. This was $8.99, and I'm sure last year this size was $7.99. So some things have obviously crept up a little bit in price. It's a DW Home candle, farmhouse cider. Farmhouse cider. And this size, so for $8.99, it says you get approximately 56 hours of burning. So when you add up, all them hours that we may have to be paying on our electricity and gas just get yourself a candle it's going to work out blooming cheaper i'll tell you farmhouse cider now i think i had one very similar to this last year mm. oh, my god. oh my god it's even making my nose tickle this is what i've been missing in my life this year it's also a double wick so it's a nice big candle double wick oh my lord now when i went home since in tk maxx they had a couple of aisles of christmas bits we all know i love christmas but i need to keep my autumnal and halloween hat on i wasn't even focusing at that i'm gonna get my holiday out of the way and then it's christmas basically in it this is just delightful it's kind of like apples and cinnamon I'm not really getting a cidery smell. Well, it's probably from the apples, isn't it? Oh, guys. I blooming love that. And that is probably going to go straight out. As you can see, I actually don't have a candle burning at the moment. I finished off my watermelon candle last night. So we are all well and truly prepared for autumnal candles, all right? But I am going to 
just sit down and have a little sip of my coffee. I'm gonna wait for the other ice cream man because I can hear his bell jingling and then we'll come back to uh, see what other shenanigans are left in the bag, eh? Sorry if you've changed position slightly as well. Um, I got too waylaid on drinking my coffee and having a look on TikTok. I thought I'd stopped you and I hadn't. And then I just went to film and it was flashing low battery, so I thought, I'm not even gonna attempt that in case I have to like start speeding up and speak 100 miles an hour. So I just had to change the uh, battery. So sorry if it's slightly changed, but I think you're pretty much in the same bit. Oh, my lovelies. Right. If you remember, let me try and get it out without breaking it. Um, I got something very similar. Well, it's kind of similar, it's kind of not. I bought from HomeSense or TK Maxx last year a pine cone tree. Might have even been the year before. And if you remember, it normally goes in like the hallway or the bathroom or toilet. And it is just a tree made of pine cones and like little leaves and bits and bobs. So it's along the same formation of that. But I saw this and I loved it and I thought this could be my autumnal tree. This was $12.99, which I know is the same price because that is what the uh, pine cone one was. How nice is this? As soon as I saw the soil flowers, soil flowers, sunflowers, I just had to have it. So it is a one, two, three, fortier pumpkin stand and you've just got sunflowers scattered all around it. And we all know, so that's obviously the back bit that won't go on display, and this is your front bit. But you all know how much I blooming love sunflowers. I mean, if you haven't seen the sunflower picking vlog with me and Mama G, I suggest you go over and see it, because that's probably one of my funniest vlogs that I've done this year. Oh, is it actually? Because we've had quite a few fun vlogs this year. It is up there, because it's something we've never actually done before. Um, Never been to a sunflower field, and didn't even realise you could go sunflower picking until we saw it. And yeah, I am so, so buzzing with it. So when I saw this, I was just like, I need to have this. And this probably can't go in the toilet or bathroom, because I've already decorated it. It might be able to go in the hall, or even my room. Here's me saying that my room's looking bare. What better way than to uh, shove this bad boy on it? But yeah, $12.99. I didn't think that was too bad at all. Oh, I just get so happy when I look at that. And I think the thing with TK Maxx and HomeSense is the bits that you buy are investments. Like, they're going to be stuff, well, for me anyway, that you keep for years and years on end, you know? Um, it's not going to be something that I'll, I'm going to change my styling and I'm not going to like bright oranges in autumn. I mean, if I ever did, send me to a therapist or a um, hip notic person to revert my mind back but i don't think i'll ever go like plain jane for autumn and halloween and that's nothing saying if you are more like neutrals and nudes but i just like a bit of pop of color i can't help it i've got like one little white pumpkin up there but yeah autumn and halloween is all about the rust the oranges the colors the mustards and then when you go into winter it's all your reds your cobalt blues your emerald greens can you tell I get excited, my lovelies? Can you tell I get excited? Right, what have we got in here? Oh, it feels like something I know. And if I'd put money on it, I would have been correct. I've got another candle. Now, I've got this one, but I really like the packaging of this one. So it's DW Home once again, and it is Flapjacks. And this is 44 hours. And this was $7.99, so this was a pound cheaper. But I hope it's going to show up on camera. Can you see? It's almost like... Not corrugated, but there's a design on the glass, which I think is really nice. This one is just a single wick, so it's not like farmhouse cider. And oh my god, I've just took that off. Now, if you don't like sickly smells, you know what this actually reminds me of? I know it's flapjacks. The nice biscuits. Nice or nice? Sweet, sugary heaven. Now, I don't know why I'm so excited, because best believe, I was sniffing every single candle in there. So I already know that these smell good, but you know when it just hits you again? That's definitely one for my room, because mum don't really do, like, vanilla and sickly scents. We'll have the farmhouse cider in the hallway, but this one... Oh, actually, no, you're going to go here. I said the farmhouse cider was going to go there. No, farmhouse cider, I think you're going to go in the hall, mate. And you, Mr. Flapjack, you're coming in my room, OK? Don't complain at all. Now, what have I got here? 
Right, well, whatever I've got, I've just pulled the top off. Please do not tell me that was an ornament. It's another candle. Oh my goodness, I just literally thought I'd broke an ornament. You know when you pull it and it's the lid that come off? Now, right. Oh my God. I could have got really carried away with this particular brand. I'm not going to lie. It's a new brand by Martha Stewart, it's called. And I got a white pumpkin soy blend candle. And it's 567 grams. It is a big blooming candle, let me tell you. And it was $12.99. So you're probably thinking, Shan, that's expensive. Now, in this collection, they had a tiny little pumpkin one. Then they had the medium. Then they had a large one. Now, the large one was £25. But it was in iridescent green, iridescent pink, and iridescent cream. Do you know the urge not to buy every single one of them large ones? I said to mum, if I had my own home, I definitely would have got the big cream or pink one. Or green one. I couldn't decide. I would have ended up with them all, wouldn't I? Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? But they was not as tall as this. So this was the medium, but this was the biggest in terms of height. Um, the large one was very large and like a little bit more flatter. And as I say, they was 25. This was 12.99, and I think the baby one was around 7.99 or 8.99. But what drew me to this? They had it in blue and cream, I think. But I loved. It's kind of like a burgundy, rusty, plummy colour. I'm gonna say. And you know me, um, with sand and fog candles, I always save the lids because they've always got like cute little stuff on. And I don't know why I'm saving them. I think that I want to use them as some form of like a coaster in autumn and Halloween and winter and Christmas when I get my own place. Just to use them as decorations because they are too nice. They're really too nice to chuck out. And something like this, once the candle is burnt, I can totally scoop all of it out, clean it and have it as like a little jar for something. And just wait, so you take off the lid. Oh my god. It's a triple wick one, my lovelies, alright? Triple wick. Now it says white pumpkin. I don't know what white pumpkin is supposed to smell like. But if I had to describe it, Kind of like a fruit cake, a really, really sweet fruit cake. It's not, however, got like you know the fruit cake normally has like Christmas spices. It's not that. It's like yeah, really sweet fruit cake with icing, like proper buttercream cream cheese frosting. Oh my god, that is just delightful. Oh, now I want this one on my side. What one am I gonna go for? I'm just, I'm just inundated. I'm just inundated. And it did get to the point where I was like, right, Shan, you need to stop now because you know me, like, normally I do get very carried away with candles, don't I? I'll end up getting like maybe eight or 10 per shop. And like, I really just don't need 40 candles to last me through October and uh, September, do I? So I've got one, two three i think that's all i've got candle wise yeah so i done good but i thought this year i wanted to get ones that kind of look different or oh, motorcycle going past and also i thought that this one i know it is just a candle but it's an investment piece because i could use it as a decoration after and i thought we'd go with some different scents as i say i've never had a flapjack one not from what i can remember but yeah I think I've done good. And to come away with just one mug, I think it's very good. I think now I wish I'd have paced myself because my first year, if you remember, I think I had like four or five bags. Last year, I had two giant ones. And this year, I would have loved to have had two, three, four, five big giant bags. But physically, there is nowhere to put them. And physically... The bank balance is going to suffer. Let me tell you, everyone thinks come autumn, winter, yeah, it goes quiet and then you get ready for Christmas. And I'm like, no, autumn and winter is just busy. Because purely because we decorate the house and bits and bobs. So I have to, have to try and keep up. Mum said to me, maybe next year if you're still at home, 
she said we'll try the come shop with me it's because oh that's a whole nother story my lovelies i did call all of my local stores so the range tk max and home sense and asked regarding filming and all of my local stores said no which kind of i don't know why because i've seen people who travel to the location and they film around and i thought oh i'll be polite and ask and they just point blank said no because it's like you get people in the background and everything like that so i'm thinking well how do the others manage to do it because obviously they'd be walking around with a camera just like mine and obviously staff would see that but is it maybe because i'm not as big as the other channels i don't know i don't think that that's a fair thing if someone else can do it why couldn't i do it and as i say i made it like, I wanted to be polite and ask, and they just point blank and said no. So, mum said, well, maybe next year, if you're still here and we can't physically swing a cat in the house, um, we'll try some other stores. We'll call, like, all the ones in, say, I don't know, a 10-mile radius and see if there's any way we can film and you can do maybe come shop with me. So, I was like, okay. Because I think that's going to be something I really want to tackle for next year. I'm disappointed in myself that I haven't done it for this year, but next year I am going to try and do a few little come shop with me. So, my loveliest. <laughs> last thing for this haul um oh, i just saw this little guy and i couldn't say no so this is the newest gonk member of the family if you remember from last year we've got one that is a yellow and black striped gonk with a um how can i say it sunflower because obviously with sunflower we're mad i saw this little guy first of all he was 9.99 his hat is like a perfect sage green buccal he's got the cutest little beard and he's holding a white pumpkin and this is like crushed velvet it is so so soft and then he's just got his little tootsies i mean i just couldn't i just could not not have him you know he's just blooming delightful so i think if anything has to go back i don't think you're gonna be it i think you're gonna be safe mate all right don't quite know where you're gonna go because mum likes to have all of the gonks in the hallway so that she can look at them from her bedroom and obviously i can see them when i walk out into the hall but i feel like my room is gonkless so it may be that this little guy has to come in my room would you like to sit on my dressing table would you like to do that? We'll try and find somewhere for you or perch you on the side of the Crosley. You decide, darling, and let me know. But my lovelies, let me just make sure. Let me just check the bag. This is where I say we're done and something else falls out. I think, no, that is the Home Sense haul done. So, our first autumnal homeware haul is done. And we've kicked it off well and truly with Home Sense. So, you know me, if we go to Home Sense, stay tuned for next week, my lovelies, because there may be a TK Maxx coming, all right? Don't say I don't treat you. And obviously, now we are full into the swing. As of today, it is Sunday, what will the date be? Sunday, the 4th of September. So, this officially starts the start of six weekly uploads. You are going to see my face every Saturday and Sunday at 9am. You are going to see my face Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at 6pm. The only day that you will not see me is Wednesdays. I've kept Wednesdays free because I like to go and do spin. So I like to go there and focus and not be thinking, oh, I need to be back to upload this and be back for that. So yeah, um, we'll see how we go. All right, I've um, challenged myself to do it for the next two months for september and october and then i'm thinking potentially november we might go back to five just in the run up to christmas and then from the last friday you all know for black friday week we do back-to-back -back hauls don't we and then from that so you have back-to-back -back uploads and then it's daily vlogmas and uploads i'm not doing daily daily vlogmas this year you will have a video every day in december and every sunday will be our weekly vlogmas running through to the first sunday of 2023 and yes your girl is already planning 2023 content 
I like to be prepared, don't I? So yes, make sure you've got your notification bell turned on because there's going to be plenty of content coming through and I don't want you to miss out on anything because I really do think it's going to get fun now these next few months. We've also got holiday to chuck into that. So there's going to be like pack with me and come to the airport with me. Oh my God, this time in four weeks, I will be sitting on the beach with a pina colada in my hand four weeks my lovelies the countdown is on sunday the 2nd of october is when i fly it's all getting a bit real now ain't it i still haven't packed i still haven't got me travel money i need to do my passport information i need to remember that i need to do the dominican form that's only 72 hours before i need to look at my trips i think i'm going to sort trips when i get out there but yeah there's still so much to do and i'm kind of like huh. but anyway we, Shane, you should be talking about holiday when we're having an autumnal uh, content haul, should you? No. So, my lovelies, if you did enjoy the haul, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Please tell me what is your favourite bit from the haul. And also, are you like me? Do you get swayed by the candles, gonks and pumpkins? Have you ever been into home scents? Any stores that you'd recommend? I'm talking like mega home scent stores, alright? Because I do like a little road trip so if i have an odd weekend free i'd like to pop in that car scooty on down to see what i can get and see if i can find any more bargains basically but yes that is the haul for today my lovelies i do hope you've enjoyed take care stay safe as always and i'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video which i actually don't know what it could be there's so much content my mind is just a muddle at the moment all right <laughs> bye guys